We're just about done with the 2023 Santa Cruz 5010 V5. It is getting close. You got crazy air hanging off your head here. You got crazy air. Just about done. Waiting for my seat post to come in and my tool. So the SRAM dub takes a special tool to tighten it. That does not work with the old non-dub SRAM bottom bracket. So I just realized that. So I had to order the special thread tool or not thread, but one of teeth on it. So I already have pedals. Um, I already have a chain and I have a front brake. I had to order a front brake rotor because I don't have an extra one. That's my old back wheel from my V2 5010. So um, I put on some old aluminum bars, which I think I'm gonna try to run a 790 width instead of 800. So yeah, it's coming together. Um, you got the Hydra straight pulls, 28 spoke. It only costs a little bit more than the one to one. And I think the straight pulls are gonna be better. So we'll see. Um, aluminum rim, Industry 9 Enduro S, I think, with a Crip Total Continental tire. is the cheapest 29 tire I could find, honestly. All the 29 tires are like 90 bucks, which is absolutely ridiculous. So I put my Santa Cruz, Santa Cruz carbon cage, which of course you gotta have that. And uh, for the sprocket, we're running the proverbial XX1 with the one-to-one -one hub, which I love the sound of this hub. It's absolutely amazing. Way better, way cooler than the Hydra hub for sure. So yeah, it's uh, coming together. Should be done by next week. And uh, been messing around with the storage box, glove box thing. I've got my tools loaded up in the bottom one. I don't carry a spare tube. That's just absolutely ridiculous. So yeah, let's get this out. It's getting pretty heavy. So we've got a CO2 multi-tool. And I have some bacon and a tire plugger in here. And that's all you need, really, in order to um, haul ass and beat everybody. That's what more could you ask for than that. So that should get me through any ride. I've never carried CO2 and all that before. So I usually don't get flats because I use push core. So, there's no point in carrying a tube, really, because uh, it's a lot of extra weight. And if, if you can't patch a uh, pinch flat with tire bacons, I mean, you can pretty much patch any kind of damaged tire with those bacons. And I might put an extra bottle of stand seal in here as well. So, yeah, everything's good. And the weather's gonna warm up soon, so we'll be out here testing it out. Thanks for watching.